Hey everyone, welcome to my Abu Dhabi vlog. I've literally started this vlog sweating on the beach, um, but I just needed a relaxing beach day today. My sisters have gone to get their PCR tests because they leave in 72 hours, I think, and I leave one day after them. I'm staying one more day alone, so that is why I'm gonna go for my tests tomorrow. Um, so I've just been relaxing on, on the beach, sunbathing. It's probably my first chance to sunbathe since I've come to UAE. For those of you who haven't watched my Dubai vlog, I will link it in the description, but it was where I was before I came here. So I've been just enjoying the UAE sun and I'm trying to get a tan and just taking all the uh, vitamin D that we don't get in the UK. Overall, I think this has been such a different trip to every other trip I've had to Dubai, like as in, it's been very split between half like party vibes, half relaxing vibes, which I think is necessary. I think me always trying to do the whole party vibe in Dubai for like a whole week, like I would literally go beach club in the day and fun dinners at night could be a lot. And I didn't realize that until I came with both my sisters and Sina, Sina usually is like able to keep up. But this time I think there was one night where one of us like wouldn't be able to keep up, I think. <laughs> So yeah, now we're in Abu Dhabi, it's very relaxed. Abu Dhabi, like this is my first time staying here and in my opinion, it's like a family holiday vibe. Like we're staying at the Ritz Carlton Hotel and it's got like a kids club, which I didn't realize uh, when I booked it. Like to be honest, I would have preferred like an adults only hotel. It's not too bad. Like every once in a while you hear some screaming, but um, in general, when I'm on holiday, I prefer like um, quiet vibes, not in a bad way, but one day I'll have my own kids and I'll join hotels with the kids club but for now I want to enjoy just like the adult vibes so I've come to the beach where there isn't many like other adults or anything and I've got my book which I never I spoke about it like two blogs ago and I never finished so I'm gonna like keep reading this I've read, read like I think one third of it but just being so busy I swear to god like when I'm relaxing I relax too hard and don't end up settling down with a book so <laughs> Um, I just probably usually go to sleep after work and stuff. Um, so now, I'm, now that I'm on the beach with a lot of free time, I'm gonna read it and let you know what I think. So this is like the corridor bit that comes up to our room. And then this is the lift and by so <laughs> I don't know why I've lost my voice. <laughs> well, like a little child being left alone. We decided to come to Cove. Um, this is the one in Abu Dhabi. I came here on my first day with Saina and now we've brought Sol back. It's so pretty here, it's very picturesque. Okay, it is, but I'm not complaining because it's honestly such a beautiful beach club. Every day that we come is meant to be like a day that is not their like hyped up day. So, we need to come on like a Friday or a Thursday, which is like the Arabic weekend, which is the same as Iran by the way. In Iran, the, the day off is Friday, so the weekend is Thursday and Friday. But in the UK, Friday is the last day of the week that we work, and then we are off on Saturday and Sunday. So interesting. This is the prettiest sunset view ever. Sol has not got out of the pool for four hours. I don't know what she's doing. Peace signs like a tourist. <laughs> Guys, I'm beginning to look like sangria. Guys, our room is an absolute pigsty, but... <laughs> But to be fair, it's all like robes, like a million robes and towels and my laptop because I was watching Bob's Burgers. But this is my outfit of the night. Um, this is a little pretty little thing dress, pretty little thing hoops. I have just some gold jewels. This ring was from my best friend's for my birthday. These rings are from Ana Luisa, which you guys would have seen in the Dubai vlog. I'm actually obsessed. I've been wearing them in the pool and everything and they've just obviously not tarnished. Um, so I'm so in love with them. They're really nice and gorgeous. Oh my god, look, I haven't rubbed in my nose contour. How lucky. I showed you guys. What is that sound? Um, yeah, this is my little makeup for the night. We've gone very, very, very gold. Um, and I think now the red nails are starting to pop because I'm starting to get a little bit tanned. I think I'll lay down a better tan tomorrow and the day after. The other hilarious thing to tell you guys is I 
I am accidentally staying one more day longer than my sisters because I got my tickets before any of them got their tickets and usually we all just book together but we were just doing our own thing and it was work wasn't it like we all had different work yeah. commitments but anyway I got the day coming back wrong because Sina was like oh come back on like the end of the Tuesday and so I had uh, to be back like on the Tuesday if that makes sense so I'm staying like a whole day extra and Sina isn't even staying with me either um because she got the dates mixed up too <laughs> so I'm gonna be here by myself for an extra day so you guys will be following me because you'll be the people keeping me company anyway we're gonna go to dinner now in our hotel my eyelashes yeah. have a little gap oh no I sorted it guys this is the table that we're gonna eat and it's like under the stars it's obviously not real stars but still nonetheless it's very pretty me and Sol decided to share a feast together whilst Sina like had some measly meal on her own <laughs> we Yummy. got so what the same as me we got salad pasta shrimp um curry and then we got some barbecue shrimp and a brisket sandwich. Mm, so <laughs> this is the happiest I've been. <laughs> you guys, the food is so yummy. Is it? I want to try now. I feel like I'm just mm. talking to the vlog. Let me try some on the vlog. I never try food on my vlogs. Do not. No, I'm too busy like eating it. Mmm. That was nice, but I would have liked it a hot. Um, with chilies. Chilies? Yeah. Green chilies? Yes, let me try some more. Yes, green chilies. Thank you. Thank you. Need to cut or hold? Cut? A lot. The tabula is so good. I love them. Thank you. Last thing I'm going to try is the pasta. The pasta is obviously my favorite. <laughs> I just want to say that Sol and I have emptied our whole buffet and guys, are going back for more. <laughs> guys, can we just say, we were talking about this earlier, we hate people who waste food. Yeah, I'd rather go back 10 times than to take more food that I can eat and waste it. Your teeth are clean. Squeaky. Are you sure? Let's see. I feel like they're dirty here. No, they're clean. They're squeaky, squeaky clean. <laughs> <laughs> We've literally just been lying on this beach all day. We want to go get sushi for those of you who don't understand what the sign is. Sol saying to Zaina, uh, we want to, well I fancy sushi, Sol doesn't fancy anything in particular I don't think. Last night I really wanted Mexican food. I don't fancy it in the heat. In the heat, I always fancy like sushi. So we're gonna go see if we can get any. Also, the heat is scorching until about three o'clock where the heat becomes sunny but nice, right? Yeah. And I feel like I must look really sunburnt right now, but I can't see myself, so. I don't know if I've tanned or not. I think you have tanned. Wait, what am I, what, where, what part of you is this? Am I touching your head? <laughs> 
So we have come to the Japanese restaurant in, there's an area called the Venetian, which I've never been to Vegas, but my sisters say is a lot like the Venetian in Vegas. Am I correct? Very similar. The only sad thing is that it's so dead. Like literally no one's like, hold on, they're not going to take my order, I'll tell you. So it's actually really pretty because the view is like the same view that we have from our hotel room. And it's just really full spelling, but the whole thing that I've realized with Abu Dhabi is that um, it deserves a lot more tourists because it's really nice, got really nice facilities. I would say the staff are even more attentive than they are in Dubai. Um, but like, there's just no one here. Like there's loads of people, like families and kids in the hotel, but there's no like tourism to that extent, even though the whole country is quite open and like, it's quite a nice place to visit. Like it's very beautiful and scenic like just the views on this canal is really nice as well so i think it deserves more tourism but it's very pretty i think it's, it'll be nice if you came like with your whole family and just wanted a chill vacation because all the like party places are more in dubai i would say that that's the shangri-la hotel it looked a lot like the hotel we're staying at when i um was looking it up online i don't know what that is and then this is the Fairmont Hotel and it's all like just overlooking this canal. This looks quite divine. I'm glad we had sushi. The crab miso was also really nice. So guys, this is the front entrance of our hotel, right? It's right here. And this is the view from the hotel. It is the wonderful Grand Mosque of Abu Dhabi. How beautiful is that? Like you guys can't even see how huge it is. Um, but it's just enormous and beautiful and such a nice thing to see. And you can hear the azan from it all the time. And it's just very stunning. So we've come for dinner at the Intercontinental. Oh my god, I actually look so shiny and greasy because all I've put on is tinted moisturizer. Come for dinner at the Intercontinental. I came here on my first night and the restaurant's called Biblos and their food is really good and their chili sauce is so good. So let me just show you like the mix of food that we've ordered this time. Ooh, this is fatouche, hummus, kippah, I don't know what that is. I think it's a joke. And this looks like baba ghanoush and rice. And just I, all of my videos end with so. So I got too excited. I got excited. My tonight in life is rice. So we got three mixed grills, all the same. Yummy. This looks divine. So today is my last day in Abu Dhabi. I actually look super shiny because I put like tanning oil on my face. Not a vibe. Um, I'm going to go down to the pool for sunbathe. I have to check out by four. So what I'm gonna do is sunbathe for about three. Three, have my lunch by the pool. Also how cool the um, West Indies um, cricket team is staying at our hotel. We met a few of them from a distance, they were really nice and they offered for me to go watch their match um, yesterday. They offered me tickets to go watch it today in Dubai but we're in Abu Dhabi and I'm leaving at like, my flights, I have to leave at the airport midnight and I think the match starts at 6 so I just don't think that makes sense. Also I just don't know like if I um, know enough about cricket to go watch it but anyway Good luck to the West Indies team. I'm gonna go Sunday by the sea. This hotel is literally just made for families with kids. Um, so it's just not a vibe for me. I'll try and show you guys properly. But like, there's only one main swimming pool and it is for families. So I'm just gonna go lie by the beach. And I'm having the camera like this so that you guys can kind of get a gist without me being that obvious. But the beach is really nice. But I think this this hotel in general is more like a family holiday. But they're saying it's because it's half term. Um, but I don't know. It's more like as in when I thought I'm staying at the Ritz, I thought something a bit more glamorous than this. Um, but it's still beautiful. Don't get me wrong. Just not 
where I would choose to stay again because mainly it's for families and um, it's really hard to always have like kids screaming and stuff when you don't have any kids um, but the beach is really beautiful it's not really a beach though because that's just a canal running through um, so I don't know I guess if there's sand it's a beach right I'm not sure look at this setup I'm having spicy chicken pesto penne pasta um, on the beach watching some YouTube I don't know if you guys can see I just got back to the room. I think I've caught a bit of a tan, but I'm not sure. Um, I have to like pack my stuff up. Most things are in the suitcase. There's just a few things here and close my makeup bag and then like my clothes for travel later is over there. So it's more like a case of like fitting stuff in and um, into the suitcase. So it should be fine. It's just my shoes are so clunky. So I'm like, how did I even get it in to begin with? Because truth be told, like my dad packs um, my suitcase after I pack it because I always get to a state where it doesn't shut. So then I ask my mum, my mum asks my dad and then it's always him who like repacks my bag, which is quite funny because sometimes I can't find things and it's because he like packs smart. So he like stuffs my clothes into my handbag or um, like wraps it up in between other items. So it's just really, really like funny like when you're trying to open it up and like look for your own stuff and you don't know where it is because you technically didn't pack your own bag. Why did this eye look a bit red? Mm. Anyway, um, I think I had a good like kind of sunbathing day and I think after I've showered and packed and everything I'm going to check out and then go with my laptop to the mall and um, maybe walk around but then sit down and do some editing and um, yeah just have a bit of a chill time for a few hours and then I will have dinner and then come back to my hotel to collect my bags to go to my flight. So, I checked out of my hotel and I've come to a mall in Abu Dhabi called the Galleria Mall. And to be honest, it's really beautiful and it is nowhere near as packed as the Dubai Mall, so I'm obsessed with it already. I'm probably gonna go like grab a coffee, sit down, relax. I literally have so many hours to kill <laughs> until my flight, so I'm gonna just chill. Um, to be fair, the sun was gonna go down anyway, so it's not even like I left the beach too soon because the sun sets in Abu Dhabi around 5 30. So yeah, I'm just walking around. Um, I'll show you my outfit, like an outfit, like in the mirror. But I'm very, looking very tanned right now, guys. This is my little outfit. Very casual. I kind of wish I bought my hoodie because malls are really cold and they have air conditioning. Oh, my mum's calling. How oh, true, because I didn't know they had a physical Kendall and Kylie store. It's really interesting. FYI guys, Arabic Zara is so much better. I'm, you know, I'm showing you the kids one, but um, I went to the adults Arabic Zara in the Dubai mall. It was so good, but my suitcase is literally on weight limit. And Sina and Sol bought three new shishas and um, they put them in my suitcase. Um, so that literally took up my weight limit, so I couldn't do any shopping. Um, to be fair, like it's just like much more like cute, like modest outfits um, in the Arabic ones. But um, yeah, this mall is so much more quiet as well. Maybe it's the hour that I've come to because it's like five in the afternoon. So, yeah. I'm on the plane now. 
people watching me, so I'm gonna bid you guys farewell. Finally, gonna go to sleep. I feel like I've just been wasting time the whole evening to get onto this 2 3 a.m. flight. So.